I just got this in the post. Ooh. I don't know why I felt the need to do some spooky noise. It's not a ghost. It's just a cardboard box with something inside it. It didn't just float its way through the corridors and end up in my hands. It's not Casper the fucking friendly package. How's it going folks? Stu here. Slight change of scenery, slight change of content. This is a, you guessed it, unboxing video, which I don't tend to do a lot of. But I think like a month ago or something, maybe two months. I think it was June actually, Christ. I ordered myself a little lockdown treat because what, do it, does it need explaining? Took a while to come. Finally here in this here box. Um, so we're gonna open it, we're gonna have a little look at it because I think it's gonna be incredibly tasty and I think it's something that you guys are probably gonna appreciate seeing, I don't know. If nothing else, I'm pumped. So watch me be pumped as I open something that came in the post for me. Earlier in the year, A24 put out their first ever sort of collector's edition of a Blu-ray. Um, of one of their films in their catalog it just happened to be Midsummer, a film I love and I saw it and I went immediately I, I need it I just I don't even I don't care how much it is I'm, I need it I'm clicking that button and now two months later here it is in this package and it's got nice sort of a a24 sticker on it I like that it's about to get completely ripped to shreds could you imagine if it just wasn't the, the Blu-ray, it's just not what is in here. It's just a, an eviction notice from my landlord who just happens to be a huge A24 fan. So thanks for sticking around to watch this man cry a bit. Should we open this thing? I think we probably should, shouldn't we? Let's get it going. I don't know the best way to do this. Maybe I'll do something different. Maybe I just won't unbox it. Maybe this is the video, the end. No, I will do it. I will unbox it. Um, let's use this. Yeah, that's right. I had a blade under here the whole time. Slightly terrifying. Where's the best way to get into this bad boy? Should we... I want to do you down there. Nice. I feel like I shouldn't be pulling that blade towards me. I feel like that's very dangerous. Sorry, mum, if you're watching. Still did it again. <laughs> Just not listening to my own advice. Right, straight down the middle of A24 tape. All right, here it is. That's right. I got a white envelope. Nice. That wasn't a satisfying envelope rip. It stuck to my fingers. Can you tell I don't do this for a, for a living? I'm not an unboxer. God, there's a talent to this. I might never get this out of this envelope. Ooh! It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Should we try and get that? Let's try and get that in focus. Look at that. Oh, mamacito. So this is a standard version, but they also did a 4K version, which I think is the main reason a lot of people were like, I need it because it's not been released on 4K with a director's cut ever anywhere, I don't think yet. But the director's cut does exist on a Blu-ray disc here in the UK anyway, and it's much cheaper than this. So sensible Stu would have just gone, yeah, I'm happy with the one that we've got over here. But is that what happened? Obviously not. Let's get you open. Oh, oh, it feels good. You can't feel through a video, um, but if you could, you would be going, oh. So it's like, a, I can't remember the actual word for this, but it's like a fabric. This is a fabric box. I think it's got a sassy, fancy name for the type of weave this is, but it, it's, it's escaped my head, so I can't tell you. But yeah, it's like a nice fabric box. I'm trying to get a nice, get that in frame. We'll hold it up again. You can't really get a feel for the fabric on video, which is slightly annoying, but just rest assured that it feels nice on my thumbs. And there's the back, nice bit of artwork. I love this design, very kind of Nordic. I love a bit of mustard yellow, one of the best colors out there. But immediately one thing you'll notice, and this is something that I didn't know when I bought it, and it is slight, it is annoying to me. I find it frustrating. Um, I think I still would have bought it up if I'd known before anyway, but it's something worth pointing out and you can very obviously tell it. It's tall. This is a tall Blu-ray. It's like a book. It's like Blu-rays aren't usually this tall. Hang on, let's see if I can get a Blu-ray for reference. What's a, what's a film that I can pull up and be like, yep, yeah, subtle, just sort of, I've got a great taste in film on my Blu-rays, you know what I'm saying? There we go. All right, take this example, Yee Yee Blu-ray, right? Side note, incredible film. That's a normal Blu-ray. That is this one it's taller it's taller and that bugs me for a few reasons firstly all my other blu-rays are not this tall <laughs> so that's frustrating but secondly i can't even fit it i don't even see it, it won't even go in so it's gonna have to go on its own somewhere which is fine it, luckily it looks so nice i'm happy to put it on its own somewhere and display it but it's just like 
It would have been nice to have it in the collection and not just sticking out like a sore thumb. A very yellow, very delicious and sexy sore thumb at that. But it feels nice on its own. Like it's it's a nice big thing and I like that about it. It's just compared to the normal Blu-ray size, you couldn't have just, you couldn't have just made it a nice, it's fine, it makes up for it. I'm not gonna complain. But let's open it up, let's see what's inside. And inside we have this lovely little book. It's nice, it's thick, it's got a good like heft to it, it's nice. And it's got this beautiful artwork on it of a bear in flames. Ooh, very intriguing. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's like a nice, lovely little sort of hand-painted artwork. And on the back there, we've got a beautiful painted artwork of the bear in the flames. And it's very delicious. And I am having the time of my life right now. Inside, we've got a lovely book and the disc. I just realized I'm just looking at it. You can't see it. It just looks like I'm reading a book to you guys. How's it going? Story time with Stu. Inside, we have just look at that look at that disc artwork it's a part of the of the full page artwork we see, are you see are you seeing that how tasty and delicious is that I just realize it's not actually i'm going to get this exactly right there there we go fixed all saved Let's hold that up again there so midsummer director's cut in this lovely midsummery font and then this delicious bit of artwork over here with the disc. It's a good, it's a nice package. It's a nice package. But if we open it up there, let's see if I can get around. Oh my God, this is like fucking contortion. Jesus Christ. Hire me for your next horror film, Arias. The bloody hell. Lovely pages of various different bits of artwork. I don't know how well that's coming through or if it's even remotely in focus, but... And then we've got table of contents at the beginning. So let's have a little look through, shall we? Let's do it. So one of the cute things about this release as well is that we've got a whole bunch of artwork on various different pages, the different murals. So some of them that are in the film, some of them I think are just like sort of slightly new ones. They're probably all in the film in, in various different spots anyway. This is a fun one. It's just half a person with their penis out. But aside from all the artwork, another cool thing about this release is that it has a foreword at the beginning of it by none other than Martin Scorsese. If you're coming up with whoever you thought was going to give the foreword, I just, I feel like Martin Scorsese wouldn't be near the top of my picks which is a nice surprise it's not a bad thing it's always nice to get old marty in there old old mr scozzy no one's ever called him that and for good reason but he gives a nice little foreword i'm about to read it for you word by word in my most i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna i'm just gonna cut that joke short everyone that's buying this has seen this film right no one's buying this as a as a complete blind buy really so when he's like i don't want to give anything away about this picture it's like martin come on <laughs> We're all friends here, Martin. We we can handle it. We can handle a bit of the a bit of the truth. But that's cool. I like that. I don't know if you can see. It's like a properly bound book in there. It's a really nice bit of creative design. This old this old Blu-ray. I've never bought a Blu-ray quite like this, and that's exactly why I needed to own it. But again, I have to come back to the fact that it just feels so good. It just feels so good. Honestly, I think a big part of why I bought this was that it was like bound in cloth and that was a big yes fucking please to me. This has definitely become probably my favorite Blu-ray I own just purely because it's so different to all the other ones. And that's what I love so much about this release. I have to be completely clear here and say that I don't think there's a huge amount of special features and bonus features on here, which in my opinion is a disappointment. You know, you've gone through all the effort of making a beautiful, absolutely stunning, limited edition collector's edition blu-ray for this film you'd like it'd be nice to have a whole butt ton more special features you know like criterion style where they really go in deep on it that would have been nice and i'd always want to see more special features on the release i don't even think this has got a director's commentary which would have been just that's all i needed really just put a director's commentary in a24 please would it have been too much but i suppose really the main reason you'd buy something like this is just the, the way it looks it's all about presentation and in that field i think they've absolutely nailed it this is gorgeous but that is it that is the midsummer director's cut blu-ray limited collector's edition from a24 i think i got all the right words in but there. this definitely feels amazing and premium and i'd love it if this became like a regular thing that a24 do where they put all of their films out on some kind of collector's edition. I mean, not all of them. They don't all deserve a big collector's edition. And I'm sure they'll be trying to think about ways to make each one unique and different. But it'd be nice if they were all kind of bound similarly in this nice cloth feel with really simplistic artwork. I get that this is very much kind of of the Midsummer style. So this has clearly been styled for Midsummer. I'll be interested to see if they did like, say, Moonlight or something whether it be a completely different release or whether they'd just do like a blue version of this with different artwork and stuff I wonder how they'd do that going forward But I sincerely hope they do do some more releases like this because they're gorgeous and I think having one 
is beautiful and nice to present, but it'd be nice to have just a stack of them, like a, like a nice section of my collection, which are just these very yummy, delicious A24 Collector's Edition releases. Get Moonlight on there, please, A24. Get a Moonlight version of this done, and you will have my money quicker than you can say, um, fucking Cabbage Patch Kids. Which isn't that quick, actually. It's a, I could have gone with a shorter phrase there. I guess that's it. This feels strange because I've never done this before. I just can't stop, like, presenting it. If you picked it up, let me know what you thought about it, if you're satisfied with it, if you're not. I can't imagine anyone would be like, this isn't nice because it's objectively gorgeous. But I guess all that's left to do now is have some gosh darn delicious yummy close-ups of this thing because it's, it's too yummy not to. There's an associate producer on this called Tintin. <laughs> nice. What a fun name. I would um I would go on adventures with, with with my dog. You couldn't not do that if you were called Tintin. It's kind of just part of the package, mate. You just gotta do it. Suck it up and do it. <laughs> 